good morning youtube well it might not be morning when you watch this but it is super super cold here this morning we're going to run in here to walmart in johnson city tennessee and see if they got anything good inside the store walmart what do we got here a lot of transformer stock there's ratchet just don't know as i normally always say i have no idea if this is good stuff or not there's some studio is that studio 86 not really no it's not 86 uh, cliff jumpers, bumblebees getting ready to do the cliff jump here. Let's hang him back up there. Man, those are $24.97. That's the little one. And then look at the size they had in the two packs for that same price. Then they got down to like $7 on clearance. Ooh. There's Genghis. I need to go back and rewatch it. It was Seth Bayer's video where his buddy Dave was talking about a variant of Genghis. And not saying that I want it, but it did give me something to try to find. I'm thinking the other one had a brown jacket on. I, need, I meant to go back and watch his video again to figure that out before I went hunting this morning, but I forgot. Uh, I like to find it. Don't feel like digging through all that stuff, though. There's the pizza. There it is. Pizza Fire Van, 28 bucks. And it actually says Movie Pizza Van on the tag, so I think it's like $42 at Target. I thought I paid 39 for it, but I might be mistaken. I don't know. Genghis in a storage shell. Uh, Genghis put the fall down back there. Movie star, Ray Filet. Trying not to make... Oh, that's what I was trying not to happen. We're just going to lay Mikey right here until we look through this peg. Who's that one? That's Wingnut. Those are pizza tossers. I saw those hidden clearance once before, but there's only one store, and I can't remember where it was at. It wasn't very much off, but still. They have been on the pegs for quite a while. But I don't know what the next wave. I know they got the villains coming out in the movie star turtles, but I don't know what the next wave of retro is going to be. I can't wait to get to Casey Jones, personally. Hey, they still got Bruce Banner. Let's see if they still got the whole wave here. Got Bruce... Mark 46, there's Cap, there's Iron Man Mark 2, there's Spidey, there's Black Widow, Karnak took a dive, we're off to a real good start this morning, so Thor looks to be gone, he was up top the other day, I don't see anything else up there, so someone may have picked up Mr. Odinson and uh, War Machine's gone, what else we got there, older legends, Titan Heroes. Mm. I like the old school Jurassic Park Explorer. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, that guy is like six bucks at Ross right now. He's still got a pretty, well, not really a huge amount of him, but it's like a pretty good amount of him here. Um. And here's our multi -earth. I like War Machine. You know, I didn't... I, I need to pay more attention to these things. I don't really compare them to the other figures in the line, but it is kind of weird they didn't give him, like, the flip-up face or a different head sculpt or something there. For, so you can see Don Cheadle or... something there. A bunch of Sam Wilsons. I like this little line, but I don't think I'm going to collect it, but I like it. I wish when they'd done the Marvel three and three quarter legends, they would have put them on cards this size instead of the ones they did. Cause the ones they did rolled really bad. And this small card here, I would think would be easier to keep it straight. There is superpowers, older ones, a $6 black lightning, barbarian Batman. That's probably the flash stuff down there. Those clearance tags. Yep. That black Manta. This is one of the nicer black Manta figures that I have seen. Somebody else said that in the video. I can't remember who I was watching that uh, this was the best black mana figure McFarlane had done. And I about have to agree. I like to have the black and white accent edition at the McFarlane toy store, but I got some other things I want. It's a little bit higher on the list. One thing is going to be something for my truck because I noticed coming down here this morning and the last couple of times I drove it, my heater is going out. And this is a bad time for that to happen. 
probably going to have to replace the heater core. Or hopefully it's something a little more simple than that. Anybody that's ever done that, changing a heater core on the older vehicles is not all that bad. The worst thing, you might have to disassemble the entire dash to get to one. Which is fun. Which is fun. Uh, nothing good in wrestling or AEW anyways. I don't see any WWE stuff hardly. And overlooking it, there's a Dakota Kai back there. Sonya Deville. Oh, there's Hogan. I bet it's the same yellow boots they had the other day. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the... Um, I can't remember. There's a new wave of these out. I haven't seen them yet, but I think they're the red or the yellow Hogan, I think, and that one is the Chase. I can't remember. But there is a Chase Hogan in that new wave. It has him, Doink, Andre the Giant. I think they've refilled some of the Motu here. I think they got some Snake Men. Spinacore back there is a Jitsu. There's Stratos. I didn't take long to find him. That's a cool figure. Still got a bunch of shipwrecks. Zodak. And those, those should be on clearance. 17 bucks. That's Motu, so that's not on sale. At least it's not marked on sale. Uh, Moss Man. What do we got over here? Demon Slayer, Beyblade, Princess Peach. Among Us, a bunch of Mario stuff. Some Toadie hanging out up there. Donkey Kong, Link, Sonic, Cat Mario. Oh, Shy Guy looks pretty cool. I saw a piranha plant of that in its line yesterday at the home base Walmart. I started to buy it, but I didn't. That's a cool figure series, though. I do like those Mario figures. So I got Balloon Foxy hanging out there. It's Poppy Playtime. You don't see Five Nights. It's showing a clearance of $1.97, but I guess that's maybe that one. It says Chica on the thing. Don't know. And a bunch of Pokemon. Man, they got a crap ton of Pokemon figures. Wow, look at that. You know, those aren't, you know, to be, I guess, is Pokemon still as popular as it was? Those aren't terrible priced, I don't guess. And you got some there for six bucks. All right. And that's on the bottom shelf. Let's see if we can get out here to the diecast. Yeah. Ooh, they got some monster trucks. Check those out when we get down to that part here in a second. Really hoping to find Major Bruiser again. I don't think this is the one I saw. I got the new Nano scene there. I saw it at Walmart in Bristol the other day. Uh, anything different in these little boogers? Looks about like the same old, same old. I'll probably go through these. Oh, I saw these at a... Uh, it was got a 250 Super Chase somewhere in it. I saw these at the home base Walmart yesterday, these little sweetheart ones. There's a funny car. I got a whole box of them. That's pretty cool. Something different, something new. What's that Chevy hanging out right back there? Ah, uh, Kings of Crunch. Anything new on these little babies? I do like that truck, the crane cams. We may have to get that one of these days. Bigfoot. What's that one there in the back? Oh, it's at Mopar. It's an older one. Now, I have seen online, there is a um, Dark Knight Returns, not the Dark Knight Returns of Christian Bale, but the old Frank Miller comic. The tank he drove in that is a Batmobile in this line. I don't know how old it is, but I would like to find that, so i got to start paying attention to those again, just in case they might have it. Here's the Fast and Furious nano scene. I don't see Major Bruiser down in here. There's Raphael and his Camaro back in there. Loki and his pimp wagon. Nope, sadly don't see it. I got a Loki up top. Alright, where are we at here? Almost 10 minutes, we need to hurry. Still got tons of places to go. We don't want to get all of our, burn all of our footage up and all of our time limit, or not time limit, but time frame up here in one store. Series 32s. 
32s, 32s. Looks like 32 is what they currently got. So they don't have 33s yet. I have seen some Series 33. Just, they don't have them here. Those Porsche cars have thinned out. So they've got three and four. That's the ones I've seen so far out of that little wave is number three and four. All right, everybody. I think that is going to do it for this one. I'm going to check in the uh, Lego aisle. We'll check collectors. I do see anything in either unless you see it. If I don't, then I'll see you at the next one. All right, we didn't find anything too exciting over here, but look at this. Superpowers, $3. And look at all them back here. It's older ones, but this is a good sign. They're starting to lower the price of these things to get them out of here. Maybe they're finally going to stock the new ones. But I don't know how much they are. In regular toy aisle, they're still marked nine ninety seven. But over here, and I scanned some of these, they are coming up three bucks. I bet all of them are down to that low. Let's get them out of here, guys, and get the new ones. We have made our way to Kingsport, Tennessee. We're here at the Fort Henry Drive a Walmart. Let's head in here and see if they got anything good for us this morning. I gotta say, guys, the way the weather's been around here this week, I don't expect to find a lot this morning because I know from talking to some of my buddies that work at Target, their trucks didn't run as they usually do. There's Inferno. The snow wasn't that bad around here, but we got a lot of ice. Like where I live in Greenville, Tennessee, I mean, the snow didn't even cover my grass in my yard, but it kind of turned to like a rain sleep mix, and then it got super cold and froze everything solid. <laughs> so it's been fun. But yeah, all that being said, we're just out hunting this morning to have a good time. We'll see what we can find. There's Storm, Bishop, Magneto, Storm, Magneto, MJ, another Storm, Storm, Bishop, and Magneto. What do we got here? You got still got that Jessica Drew back there from Spider Verse. Some more MJs and a Matt Murdock. Oh, what else we got down through here? I can already tell. This is hidden back in there. We don't have a Vampire Robin, sadly. There we go. Clearance for nine ninety seven. Hey, they got a dark side as well. Maybe this is the one where he was four bucks. I forgot to scan him at the other store to see if they were marked down. We did see him for three dollars in one place this morning. Like I said, it's encouraging. They're gonna move those things out. Indominus Rex, what's he do? Oh yeah, that's one. I forgot his next turn turns green. Looks like he moves his head too, but I don't see. Oh. <laughs> I enjoy these dinosaurs. That's a cool looking Dilophosaur. Okay, what was we doing here? I've lost my train of thought. They don't have those little three and three quarter marble figures yet. Anyways, let's get down here and check. Oh look, there are more great clearance deals. Rebirth Batman still. Uh, let's push this back. That Batman is dressed appropriately for the weather right now. Blushing Superman. Oh man, they got a lot of blushing Superman. There's a Batman. Who's that one? Dark Knights of Steel. No more back in there. Let's start sliding these over to here. There's a Black Lightning. Only be six dollars here. Another Winter Jacket Batman. Winter, Winter Jacket Batman. I show them back up. They must be clearing out some of their warehouse stocks. McFarland's on here, I can guess. Uh, what we got up here? Another Dark Knights of Steel, Dark Knights of Steel, Future States, eh. and then more superpowers. Man, this place is eat up with superpowers. You got a bunch of them up there, and you got like what, three or four places here on the shelves where they've got them. Who we got here? Jim Gordon, and all those are Black Lightnings. Uh, the Batmobile there is pretty sweet. I will admit, I do like that Batmobile. Star Wars. There's Boba Fett turned sideways. It's Mossman. Captain Hoo-Ha. Don't see any of the newest wave. Nothing too good in Micro Galaxy. There's Chopper. He's pretty cool. Don't know anything about him, but he looks cool. <laughs> um... Oh, I made him mad. 
Uh, still got plenty of the ultimates. There's Lashley, Angle, Orton, Bianca Belair. Still got the same old Motu. I'm going to flip through that. There's one of the newer WWE figures. There's another one, Sami Zayn. Uh, Gung Ho. This guy's showing back up in force. And a lot of my different Walmarts. Bam Bam Bigelow's a good one. Typhoon, Papa Shango. The Million Dollar Man. Everybody's got a price. Everyone's gonna pay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got a good assortment of Mario figures here this morning. Got Lemmy, Koopa Troopas, Koopa Troopas. That's another Lemmy. The Donkey Kong, Link, Diddy Kong, Link. I'm gonna admit, guys, I'm kind of having a little bit of collector's regret for not buying that piranha plant. So if I see that again, there's a chance that might get purchased. <laughs> but. I do think that is going to do it for the action figure owl. Let's go check out some die casts and just see if we can find anything else here for us. So once again, over here behind the bicycles, we find some more overflow. I can't remember who gave me that tip. I need to go back and look, but man, I really appreciate it. Because here we got some, I mean, they're, I scanned this on the app. They are there. I found some other that scanned. They are still full price. This comes up $24. <laughs> but there's pre Vizsla. An R2-D2, Maroc. So yeah. They got some Star Wars Black Series over here. And all the Godzilla and Kong stuff looks to be over here. I saw another one of these two packs online. I'm thinking. I've got that one. That's an awesome figure series, I think. Godzilla. There's Kong with the Beast Glove. Those little mystery crystals. The mask. Got some Jurassic Park. Some Fortnite. Stone Cold Steve Austin truck. So yeah, got some overflow over here. But okay, let's get down the rest of the toy aisle here. I want to take this little area over here. And a change of pace for some Walmarts. Let's head into the Target store here in Kingsport, Tennessee. One of my favorite Target stores to hunt in. Let's run in here and see what they got for us this morning. Let's start here by looking at old Clarence. That puzzle's kind of cool. Infinity Saga, $13.99, really? I figured that, okay, $9.99 for tow. I thought these were $5.99 now. Uh, Kamek's been tore all the pieces. Nothing too good there. Oh, they got some clearance down through here. What have we got? Some Lego. These are down from $40 bucks to 12 As is, $111 for that Lego set. Uh, that's like most of the, the good clearance is gone. Namor's throne room for $10.49. Hmm. I kind of wanted a Namor minifig. I don't know, we might think about that before we leave here. They got tons of them. I can't bust them back here. Well, I say that. Somebody could run back here and buy every one of them. But let's go see what we got in the rest of the stuff here. Well, here's some more Lego stuff. What's this? That's dots, I guess. Little sisters. Might be some minifigs. I was getting excited. Oh... Hot Wheels back here, but our die cast collectors are here this morning, so I'm sure any good stuff they wiped out. And that's not a complaint at all. I'm not a Hot Wheels guy. They can have at it. Huh, there's Pat McAfee. <laughs> what do they got in these? McAfee, The Rock, Trish Stratus. I wonder if there's a variant. They got them all, though. There's McAfee. We'll take a picture of them here. That looks like that same one they just had out of him. Um, eh, not a terrible likeness, but it's not the best. Trish Stratus, huh? I was a fan of her back in the Attitude Era. Now that does not look like Trish Stratus. And then we got, oh, the rock comes with the belt. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Nicholas. I don't know who Nicholas is. But yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll get a picture of those. And then we'll get individuals that I could crop and decide how I want to do them on a thumbnail. <laughs> and of course, these are $22.99. As most of your Target wrestling figures are. They got Hulk Hogan there. I tell you, I'm really tempted to buy that wave. Really tempted. 
This Hulk all they got. Yep. Uh, Angelo Hawkins. Still got some Ultimate Warriors. Uh, Sun Man 3 packs. So we'll place it. The Big Turtles. Nano Figs. Some of these were on clearance at one point. But I don't know which ones. Uh, ooh, they're still putting the stock out. That's a good sign. <laughs> Bo-Katan. I don't think that's all they ever had here. Tuscan Warrior, a bunch of those. One Chrysanthemum. Poe Dambron's non-Chase X-Wing. Same old Motu. These Aikido things look kind of cool. I don't really know what they are. I'm sure it's some kind of like game thing, but... And then these. They look pretty sweet, too. Like I said, I'm a fan of these little metal figs. Which are these, 20 bucks? Yeah. That blind bag set of marble ones of those. Oh, man, I love those. Raph, Donnie, and Mikey. Still haven't seen Bebop and Rocksteady. Mondo Gecko is hanging out with us this morning. We'll take a picture of Mondo. Oh, uh, do they have a... Genghis Frog? Which one is that? It's the pink shirt. And the splinters back there. All these Tweedles. Yep. There's Ray Filet and Rocksteady. Rock Steady. Oh, they got some cool turtles this morning. Not a whole lot of Godzilla and Kong stuff. Got Beast Glove. Is that only $9.99? I'm telling you, I'm really impressed with these figures and the price point they've got them at. Kudos to Playmates, because in today's climate, I mean, they can very easily put 25 bucks on that thing. The way a lot of this stuff is priced. And really, they're not exp that expensive, and that's not a bad looking figure. Makes the man collects happy to see some people aren't super or stupid greedy. <laughs> uh, Transformers, I don't see anything there. Got a little metal fig set of them. I think these Earth Sparks here are new. I've seen some people in other videos talking about them. Yeah, that's 33 bucks here. You can get that for $7 at the Bristol, Virginia Walmart if it's still there. Best figure out of that wave. Signal. Oh, uh, Deathstroke. Is he new? I've got a Deathstroke in Spin Master. But I don't know. 2022 is stamp on the back. That might be the one I've got. Uh, Eight dollars now? I thought this was five ninety nine. I don't really look at them that much though, so I didn't know. The Andrew Garfield Joker. He didn't really portray Joker, but that looks like Andrew Garfield, especially with the hairdo. That of the guy that played on Parks and Rec, played like John Raphael or whatever his name was. Uh, I need that. I don't know if I want to buy it today for 40 bucks, but I need that. It's going to take a lot to get me to buy a lot of stuff today, guys. I don't know what's wrong with my truck. My stinking heater. Oh, that was my toe. Thanos and Hulk. Thor. They got Black Panther. They do. I think they've got all of those right now. Do they have Sam Wilson? Yeah. I guess they're $9.99. At least at Target. And $14.99 for those more deluxe figures. That Venom looks really, really cool. That translucent green. Oh, man, that film looks cool, too. I think I've seen these before, though. That's pretty cool. MJ's been here for quite a while. I always grabbed her. One Captain America. I would like to have this one eventually. That one's a little... Oh, I could put the camera on it. That face scope with the mask looks good. That one's... It ain't bad. Again, I like this little set. I like the Spidey, too. And I don't like the Iron Man as well. don't care too much for that one. I do like that one. They did really good, I think, on Robert Downey Jr.'s head sculpt there. Take a look at it. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. Those are all Spideys, Mark IIs. Okay. Well, we got some new wrestling this morning. Ain't got a pretty good amount of stuff here. I'm not going to complain. Like I said, I don't expect a lot today. It's because of the way the weather's been this week. What do we got over here? They ain't got the Batmobile, do they? Nope. Creed Taxi. Um, they got any Series 33s? There's 30, 32, 32. There's a 33, the zombie. That's about the only one I've been seeing in my area. It's another 33 back there. There's that zombie truck again. Alrighty, what else we got down through here? Oh... Uh, there's Star Wars. 
all red tops. Somebody's texting my work phone. I'll have to see who that is once I cut the camera off here, which will be coming up pretty soon. We're about done. Uh, Donkey Kong. Oh, awesome figure. Some more chrysanthemums out here in Orlando and Grief. Mario figs. Uh, bunch of rainbow friends. Well, not a bunch of different stuff. It's that one little assortment there, but Poppy Playtime figures. Alright, everybody. That's going to do it for this toy section. I'm going to take a gander at Lego. I'll find anything. I'll show it to you. And if he puts out any more stock, I'll show it to you. Otherwise, I'll see you at the next one. Even the crow looks like he's freezing there. Anyways, we're here at the second Kingsport Walmart. Let's run inside here. See if they got anything good for us. Might be our last Walmart of the day, guys. So this will be the last chance to find Robin. The music is a little bit louder in this one. So I'm probably going to have to jam her on a little bit extra. So I do apologize to everyone. But still $39 here for the Pizza Fire van. So it does one Walmart. It does have a good price on that. There's another pink shirt Genghis. Oh, those are all toidles. Those are all toidles. No wonders how I always look at this. There's all turtles. You notice the non-turtle characters have all four brothers, and then the individual turtles just have them on the side. So yeah, I don't collect the mutant mayhem figures. I haven't seen the movie, but hey, I've learned how to ID some of the figures. Another green or pink shirt. I don't think the giant movie turtles are on sale here. They got both of them though, or both ones they had. Still got a Kino and Fat Foot Soldier 2 pack back here. Um, what am I rubbing against back here? Oh, that's our foam sword's getting me. I've been stabbed. Uh, Genghis, the usual stuff there. Wing nut and screw loose. Oh, they got the Infinity Saga figures. I know some up here too. They got up here. Ah, War Machine. I still like that figure. I think that's a nice looking one. Even though everybody else wants to complain about it. Captain America. I gotta quit being negative about stuff, guys. There's a, I've just encountered a lot of negativity from the community here lately, and it's, it's aggravating. There's Bruce Banner. It's like anything you look at, anything that comes out, all people want to do is sit and complain about it. And this is a hobby. This is supposed to bring us fun. If it's not, then people should stop. <laughs> That's just my opinion, though. Take my opinion in a dollar and you'll have something worth about 75 cents, I guess. Black Lightning, one for six bucks here. Don't know. I walked down their clearance aisle on one little overstock spot they've got. Didn't see a whole, whole lot. They had some Star Wars figures, but it was those ones that was in that big shipper that was out before Christmas. And a tech, wrecker, those. Uh, Dark Detective. Not even look at these. Armored. Older superpowers. Well, there's Kong with a beast glove. There's Squeeze. No, they got Snake Man here, Spike Gore, a couple of figures from that wave. Uh, so they got some Flash figs. I'd assume they're clearance here. That's got to be the set that I got. I've seen that same one everywhere. Somebody's trying to turn into the troop transport. I don't mean to linger here, guys. This Walmart, though, they kind of just put stuff in random spots, so you got to pay attention. If not, you overlook something. This is where I found the gold label Owl Man, so I was hoping for a robin here. But we'll find it eventually. Um, that's Rob Van Dam. <laughs> Haven't seen him in a while. We'll take a picture of Rob there for the thumbnail. I always enjoyed him back in ECW, WWE. I think he was in TNA here a while back. I think it was Impact. But I watched a little bit of his stuff. Then, um, let's see, and some more snake men there. And there's infiltrator, spike or another squeeze, moss man, man at arms, another squeeze, and I got a bunch of the snake men here. And there's some more on the pigs here. That's the only one where spike or jitsu, some more superpowers, older GI Joe, shipwrecks, and gung hose, and. 
I'm sure there's Lady J back here somewhere. In there. Yep, there we go. Lady J is representing strong. <laughs> what we got over here? Uh, Mario. Donald Donkey Kong. Oh, there's a Diddy. There's like three Donkey Kongs and a Diddy Kong. There's some more Mario stuff there. What's that? Lemmy and another Mario. What else we got down through here in the old video game stuff? Hey, a different Poppy Playtime. The player figure. Hmm, that's cool. And, and again, this store like the other one's got all kinds of Pokemon figures. And they got a few cards, looks like, too. Tins and stuff. But that's going to do it for our action figure section, guys. Let's turn the camera off and we'll go check out. See, or not check out, but check out the rest of this place and see if we can find anything else. And we are back here at the Great Raw Store in Kingsport, Tennessee. Last time I was in here, their toy section actually had about the same amount of stock that I had through Christmas. So let's run in here this morning, see what they got. I already looked in the front basket by the register. They had Siren, you know, the usual stuff that we normally see up there, the Transformers and all that. But let's see what they got here in the back. Still pretty good, pretty good amount of stock here. They got some of those Batman Adventures things. I didn't see that. I those a couple of times. There's Dilophosaurus are everywhere here now. I saw these a few, a couple of times back during the Christmas rush. I used to look at this in store all the time and think that I wanted it, but I don't know if I want it because I want it or I want it because it's $9. <laughs> but I think we're going to skip on that. There's a Superman. I hadn't seen the Superman, but some people are finding it in Ross. I'm not saying I would buy it, but I hadn't seen it before. At least if I haven't ever paid any attention to it, put it that way. Gundams, they seem to be showing back up again. I think a lot of people didn't get these the first time. I've seen on Facebook and Instagram. They seem to be excited over those showing up. And I didn't see a whole, whole lot of them. But my raw stores had a few back during the big rush. There's a Gigantosaurus. Skateboards. The Spider-Man No Way Home. That's marked down to eleven ninety nine. Oh, well, pieces are falling out of it. I didn't do that. Actually, I guess I moved and I did. Well, it broke the ties on the inside. Oh, what else we got down through here? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. There's the Joker. Imagine X stuff. Transformers. There's another Gundam. And Eternal Pop. Oh, here's some bunch of dinos behind me. Got a Triceratops down there. The Oak, Oak Orco Raptor. Another Dilophosaur. Another Gigantito. Oh, let's just... That's got to do something right there. I don't know what. That's a good one, though. <laughs> Is his mouth open? His mouth doesn't open? Oh, there it goes. How can open his mouth? I don't know. Anyways, Okra Raptor Irritator. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> These are fun. Is that what that does? Huh, I don't know. Another irritator, irritator, Dilophosaurus, another Giganto laying there, another Orco Raptor, Okra Raptor. Another one of the Batman sets. Trying to tease me one more time before we head out of here. What's this? Oh, that's a lot of your stuff. No thanks. Mr. Potato Head. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this one. If I do see anything else in here on my way to the door, I'll let you see it. If not, then we will see you at the next. All right, all my toy hunting friends, this water, one more time, this Target here in Johnson City has been the hot spot over the last little while. So let's run in here and see if they got anything for us this time. Let's see what we got here. Like I said, beginning of every place, there's Chris Pratt. Owen, Owen, Dimatron, Owen, Dimatron. Um, here's a Charlize Theronosaurus. Still like a 93 classic there. That's a nice T-Rex. The memory source down there. You know, I thought about getting some of the Kong and Godzilla stuff, but I haven't seen a whole big assortment of it. Here's the one I picked up. I think it's awesome. So I left the first, one of the first one more this morning. Uh, they are stocking guys, but I'm not seeing any toys. Donnie and Leo, still no mutating Bebop and Rocksteady. Genghis and Baxters. 
Uh, Nano Soon Jurassic Park. I think it's pretty cool. It's a little ganky where it connects together, but other than that, it's not that bad. There's a big scar king back there hiding. All kinds of nano fish for the turtles. Buzz off. Let's see if they've got Genghis. There's the per or the pink shirt Genghis. And those are all turtles. So hmm. I haven't found that little variant yet. There's Poe Dameron's X Wing, the non chase. I got the chase version of that. Imperial shuttles. Who they got here? Master versus this all gonna be Andra. She was clearance at one point. I wonder how much she is here now. Uh, let's see. Millennium Falcons. I bet that won't stay there long. Uh, oh, here's the blade and the butcher. So all of them now, except for the bunny. I think she's a chase. record and watch some wrestling but haven't done it yet and they got these we saw these in the other one as well there's the rock where was any chase variants in these uh, the two rocks look the same i don't remember what pat mcafee was wearing in the other store got the blue cage down there that's cool sunman store layers what we got back here in diecast the monster jam truck set Oh, we got any 33s? There's a 33. Captain's Curse. Uh, 30, there's a 33 in the back. 32, another 33. 32, 32, 32. 32s. Hmm. Well, we'll have Monster Jam Chase here. Some of the die cast looks a little in this morning um, what else we got there's a thunder tank public gunship public gunship a wing no chases there in the star wars stuff um hot wheels is pretty stocked but i don't know if we're going to dig through all of that I still wish I could remember when I have this thing. Of course, if I miss out on it, it's not going to be a big deal. But One of those things that's cool, but do I really want two of them? <laughs> All right, everybody. I think that's going to do it for the... Well, no, we looked at the action figures yet, have we? We start on the back side of the aisle. Let's just take a peek over here. Just to make sure we don't have any overflow or don't have any good Lego sets. That piranha plant I would like to have, but $60... A little much for what, how many pieces? 540. Uh, I think got a Mario license thing there. I guess that's not terrible in the grand scheme. There's little small figures, Wakanda Forever. Yeah, not seeing much there. Well, they got stuff, not trying to be whiny, but it's not anything we're looking for. Let's see what they got over here in these Lego sets. Classic Defender, Insects. Uh, uh, Jurassic Park, little Nedry set there. We get to eat by the Dilophosaur. Uh, da, 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 da. Space sets. That snowplow set up there is pretty cool. A little Arctic base or whatever it is. Mm. Yeah, don't see anything else. But let's head over down to the action figures and see what they got over there. Action figures. Still got these little things here and I keep forgetting to take pictures of these so we're just going to take care of this right now <laughs> don't know if these are really hitters or not but you know here on the man collects we need what I like to call thumbnail fodder so here we go I get some individuals here always cool to have some new stuff but I've been forgetting to take pictures of those every time I come in 
Optimus Primal is small scale. Legacy. Don't see anything different there. Those are all Rhinox. Um, those things again, seven bucks. Check Walmart's. They got the Dark Knight Returns Jokerized. Hanging back here, a couple of them. Still a buttload of these. But that right there. Oh. Oh. That's a scary price for those. Um, speaking of scary price, who are you going to call? <laughs> I have to admit, I had all four of these the other day. I was going to buy it, and they got the whole wave here as well. These things are awesome. Really enjoy the fright features. Ecto 1. One of my viewers had commented, it would be cool if they re released the Ghostbuster Firehouse, but that would not be awesome. Hulk and Thanos. I thought I saw the small one somewhere. Here's Iron Man. Oh, yeah, they were over in an end cap. That's right. Oh, there's a bunch of them, too. <laughs> so I guess these are just $9.99. I don't know if I'll get those or not. All those MJs, they are. We've got Iron Man. we got Cap. Mark II and Mark 46. And there's a Mark 46 and some Hollands. So got some Legends here this morning. I saw this at the other one. I don't know if I put the camera on or not. That's pretty cool, too. The black suit spideys and... Is Venom not in that? Wow. I can't believe they don't have Venom. Hmm. Uh, they don't have a little nano set here. Alright everybody, I think that's going to do it for the toy section. Got some stuff. I mean, Rob will call big hitters, but we've seen about all the new stuff that's out right now. But We're going to go over to collectors. We're going to take a look there, see what we can find. If I do see anything there, I will let you see it. If I don't, then I'll see you at the next stop. Well, it has started snowing here in Elizabethan, Tennessee, but let's head into Ross, see if they got anything that might can warm my heart and melt this snow. Ross in Elizabethan. That looks kind of the same back here. You got, what is that, Return of the Jedi, Ewok, Leia, Jen Erso, another Jen Erso, and another one of those Leia's. Still got Forge hanging out back there. 349 now for a Dungeons and Dragon figure. I like the movie, but I don't know, I'm not interested in the figures. Armor, they mark these things down, any? Nope, they're still three bucks. How much are these things? Oh, somebody said the price went up on these. Three ninety nine. I can't remember how much they were before. We got Firestar and Nova and the Marvel three and three quarter. I'm pretty sure they had those last time I was here as well, though. Um, I look at this little thing behind me. Nothing. It's trans or transported itself over there for the main action figure. I gotta look behind stuff, make sure we've tried to hide anything in here. <laughs> and there's a multiverse figure. Oh, there's a, oh, that looks different. What's the name? What are they done to Zaymont? Do all of them look like that? Oh, no, they got his Cobra emblem covered. His sash is up too high. Hmm. Yeah, they got a bunch of him. Punk Rocker Superman. Still need to get the Wonder Woman for that figure series so I can build Dark Father. I got the Robin King here last time. There's the fish guy from um, Power Rangers. He's shown back up. Six ninety nine. Sorry for sniffing in the camera there, but it is cold outside and warm in here. That can cause my sinuses to start to melt a little bit, I guess. There's a Rajasaurus, the Lophosaur. Big T-Rex is marked down. We're going to see what he is. Lola's out to Yin Yang. Um, what have we got down this little side aisle? This looks like mostly smaller kitty stuff, but you never can tell. Somebody pick something up and carry it down here. Uh, let's see how much the big T-Rex Oh, the big T-Rex is missing a jaw. That's probably why he's cheaper. He's still $13 and he doesn't come with a lower jaw. Giganito. There's a blue marble. He's still $5.99. Um, still got Alf for $11.99. I think they had Alf last time I was here. I don't recall. Oh, uh, what's that one back there? Concavenator. They used to be everywhere. The Mario scene, bunch of Sonic, Star Wars, Sabres. Man, speaking of sabers, Yukon Phil found the, the Ray Saber again. He's the only person I've ever seen to find that thing twice. 
Still got some of those Power Ranger swords. Well, they marked down to now. 849. Well, kind of a quick run through here, guys. They got a good stock of stuff here, but not anything we are currently trying to locate. So let's head up to the front, see if there's anything by the register. If there is, I will show it to you. If not, I'll see you at Walmart. We are back in Johnson City because I wanted to go to this Ross. To be quite honest, I forgot before I went to Elizabethan. So let's get in here, make up for my memory lapse, and see if this Ross might have anything. Well, up here at front, we've already seen they got a AEW figure from 399 Sammy Guevara. That's pretty cool. What wave is this from? Series 5, number 34. Brian Danielson, LJ, and Series. That's pretty cool. Sammy Guevara, I still crack it up on the, one of the first few dynamites from Jericho kept going on about how sexy he was. <laughs> and they got Siren there, the patrons, hostess of Ross. Alrighty, that's all they got up here. Let's head back to the back now and see what we can find there. And they have restocked some. There's all the Gundam stuff that everybody else is seeing. Now this one I remember seeing a bunch throughout the Christmas season. This one, I don't remember as much. These are cool looking, but... Don't know beans about them, so. Not for the man collects. Uh, what else we got? Transformers. Titan Hero. Black Panther. This is reduced down to $3.99. That one's missing some pieces, looks like. This is Spider Man. Oh, they got some of these, too. These must be going around kind of a Ross restock right now. They're all over the place. Uh, oh, they got this one. Let's see. $9.99 for two. He looks kind of perturbed in that one. What does Batman come with? Eh. Again, these are kind of cool, but I don't really think I need these. So I've seen them all but the Superman now. There's the Batman stuff, Dilophosaurs, Tony Hawk Skateboards. Still got a bunch of anime. There's a bunch more Gundams. I don't know if that's the same one that was down there or not, so we're just going to take a picture of it. Is that one reduced? Oh no. Imagine eggs. I got Joker, Flash. I see some stock things down there, but I don't think there's any toys on them. What are we going to check? Just to make sure. And the Giganito. Let's get him. That is pretty cool. Mm. All right, we're going to go down and check out those little stock carts. If we see anything, I will turn the camera back on and let you see what it is. But if not, then I'll see you the next one. All right, we're going to end the Walmart hunts today here at the Greenville Walmart, the old home base. Let's head in here and see if they got anything out for us. Well, here at the home base, they got some random stuff here. I still got the metal figs for Godzilla and Kong. I found this laying on a random end cap up there, some care bears. I thought it was a sign that I needed to get it. I don't know what this is. This mission fleet? Huh, I don't know. We're gonna take a picture of it. Maybe send my Star Wars buddies and let me know what that is. General Kenobi, you watch this video, man. Let me know what that thing is. Oh, these things here I think are awesome. It's little metal figs. We got two Kongs, a Godzilla, and a Scar King left. Somebody got Shimu or Shimo, whatever how you say it. I picked up a set of these. Last time I was in here, they had just set this out. I'm grabbing that piranha plant. <laughs> Let's see what else they got up here. Nothing on that side. Um, we'll get down the action figures here in a second. Got some Godzilla and Kong masks. There is no way that would go on my head. We fit Luke though, he'd probably enjoy that. He went out of the Godzilla. Speaking of which, they got some Godzilla and Kong stuff. There's a giant Godzilla Evolved. What's he do? Does he make noise or anything? I, mean, I assume he's gotta do something. Maybe he just walks around, who knows? There's that Donatello Fuggler, somebody tried to open him. These things were so expensive, I'd probably try to get a set of them. But they were $5, I don't know. And then you got the Beast Glove Kong. That thing looks pretty good, too. That looks a little better than the uh, one I picked up, the Tonks, or Roars. Uh, come on, Piranha Plant. I want to take a picture of the Piranha Plant. 
I'm going to put that on the thumbnail. And there's another Fuggler. Is that? Okay, they do have all four of them. There we go. So Donatello is on one I have seen so far in the stores that I have seen them in. Mondo Gecko up there. There's Genghis in the pink. I wish I'd have known there were two different versions of him. There's another pink shirt. I wonder if I've even seen the variant. I'm not digging through all those. They're going to fall off the peg. Obviously, I don't want to see it that bad. Uh, some Marvel plushies up there. Some more. I got a bunch of Transformers up there. A lot of turtles, too. What's that one right there? Oh, that's a storage shell. It's not like the explosion thing. Well, it's on that one, too, if I'd pay attention. It's on all of them. <laughs> Never mind. Man collects not paying attention. It's a staple of my channel. Uh, they got the little Avengers figures. They're eleven ninety seven here. This is the X Men role play. I don't know how much those things are. I just need to scan them. <laughs> and right there you got. Which I know that's probably the Gujit suits or something. Those little singles, but showing three ninety seven. I take a look at this depressing McFarlane area. No superpowers Batmobiles. I wonder if the figures are the same price here. They got two pegs plus a stack of them up there. All they have are Winter Gear Batman and they've got two Superman from Dark Knight Returns. All of these are Duke Thomas's, but the Duke Thomas is on clearance. Regular price 2048, clearance price 2048. <laughs> and I shouldn't act like that. I haven't scanned them today, but I have scanned them last time I was in here and they are indeed on clearance for 2048. Saw that thing for cheaper at um, Ross today. I like that little Batman set there with Killer Croc. I like to have that Killer Croc figure. Uh, they actually got a different Micro Galaxy, that one. I don't think they had that last time I was here, just the Finn thing. That should be on clearance. It was 19 when I bought it here, the shuttle. I don't know how much it'd be down to now. I don't see a tag for it either. Or I don't see a clearance tag, put it that way. It could be a tag there. Oh, they got Ahsoka. It's new-ish. I I mean, maybe not. I, can, I don't know how, how new that is. I think it comes with this wave, didn't it? They don't have the waves on the back of these boxes, do they? Oh, Lando is represented strong here. I still feel bad for Lando. I don't understand people won't buy Lando figures. They got a Brock Ultimate. Oh, a million dollar man's busting out at me. <laughs> Fifteen dollars, only five bucks off. He's ripped open. I bet his accessories aren't even in there. Well, no, I take it back. I see him back there. And they still got the perfect. Look here, you got Mr. Perfect with the title. Then you got the variant without the title. <laughs> That's not a variant, guys. Anybody doesn't know that wave. Somebody opened that and taped it back together, actually pretty well, to where you can't tell it, and stole the IC belt. It is a cool belt, but I don't condone what they did. Scrap Iron, Moss Man. One thing I will say in here, guys, they have organized everything very well. This was a cluster last time I was in here. And by cluster, you know what usually follows the term cluster. I'm just not saying that on my channel. Uh, there's the rest of the Mario figures. They have another one of these babies. There goes some more stock. That was shirts. That's pretty cool, too. The paratrooper. Uh, yeah, paratrooper. I'll drop Boom Boom, Peach, Kamek, nope, <laughs> that's the one I got. Somebody must have changed your mind on this. I've looked at it the other day, but I didn't carry it up to the front. There's some Rainbow Friends, oh, Rainbow Friends plushies. I don't know anything about Rainbow Friends, so the Madison likes them. Luke, I don't know if he's into those or not. They got a bunch of the Poppy Playtime stuff too, just Bunzo and Huggy. No Five Nights at Fridays. And then our Pokemon. That's going to do it, guys. I don't see anything else. I'll let you see it. If not, then I'll see it next. Hello, everybody. My name is Chris. And let's wrap up another toy hunting adventure here on The Man Collects. As usual, thank you to everyone for watching the video. And be sure to hit like if you have enjoyed the content. 
Um, cold hunting hunt weekend this weekend, guys. Some drop temperatures here in Tennessee. Um, we had some rougher weather back through the early part of the week. Um, a lot of ice and stuff like that. So I know from talking to some of the guys I've gotten to know at these Walmart and Targets I usually hunt, um, they didn't get a lot of stock in this week. I said a lot of their stock trucks actually got diverted to other stores, and they got their, they're expecting some stuff coming this week. So hopefully this week will be a little more fruitful. But Saturday was the first day I really got to get out and hunt a whole lot last week because of the weather kind of slowed me down a little bit. So it was cool to get back out. We didn't see a whole lot flashy and new. We did see a lot of cool stuff. So let's get into it. What stores did we go to in this hunt video? Went to Walmart in Johnson City. Went to two Walmarts in Kingsport. Hit the Target in Johnson City and the Target in Kingsport. We hit Ross stores in Kingsport, Johnson City, and Elizabethan to see what they had. And then we rounded out the Walmart hunt at the Walmart here in Greenville, Tennessee. Also hit two Walmarts in Kingsport, if I didn't mention that. I don't know if I did or not. But anyways, store of the hunt. What is Store of the Hunt for this video? I gotta say, this one was a little bit harder to pick because we didn't see a whole lot, not a whole lot in one certain store to put it above all the rest. But, we gotta have a Store of the Hunt, so it's gonna go to Target in Johnson City, Tennessee. One of the reasons I picked that one, I don't see a lot of newer AEW figures in my areas, guys. I don't know if it's just this area. Maybe everybody's seeing that. I don't know. But you don't see a whole lot of restock on AEW. And the last two times I've been in that store, they've had newer AEW figures. Uh, the Butcher and the Blade, they had them this time. They had that new WWE WrestleMania way with Trish Stratus, The Rock, Pat McAfee, uh, John Cena. And John Cena, they had those there. They had those at the uh, Kingsport Target as well, but... Uh, those Marvel metal nano figures there from Jada, those little blind bags, really enjoy those little metal figures from Jada. They had, I think they had 12 of those, if I counted them right in the video, I can't remember. But they had either a set of those, hopefully, or close to a set of them there. And what else did they have? Uh, the Fright Features still had a whole wave of the Fright Features. They had some Infinity Saga Legends. Um, they had some stuff back in Collectors, uh, stuff we've seen a thousand times. I didn't film back there, but... Yeah, I guess as a whole, that target there had a little bit more than the rest. Plus, they had new AEW figures. So that gives it Store of the Hunt. I think this is the second video in a row that, tar that target's been Store of the Hunt. I don't know. But anyways, it is for this video. Now, Store of the Hunt, it is established. So what was the man's top three coolest things I saw on this toy hunt? This was another one, guys. It was kind of hard to pick a top three because most of the stuff I saw is stuff we've been seeing and been seeing and been seeing. But once again, we got to persevere. We got to pick a top three. So we did that. Number three goes to McFarlane Toys. DC Superpowers figures. That's right. DC Superpower figures. Why? Because of the Walmart and West Market Street in Johnson City had those things marked down to $3. Now, why is that exciting for figures I've already got and been on clogging shelves forever? I'm hoping that's a sign they're going to clear those suckers out and they're going to get the new ones. Even if they don't get the newer ways of them there, maybe they're going to clear that space and get something else good. You never know. But we need to get, I want one more black mana. You know, a T3 Collects was good enough to hook me up with black mana. Um, I need a reverse flash. That one's also Walmart exclusive because right now I try to complete the superpowers line. I try to get it all. But to be quite honest, I've thought about getting out of it completely and getting rid of my superpowers because you can't find the friggin' Walmart exclusives. But we're going to take it as a sign because of those $3 superpowers figures. They're going to clear them out. They're going to get the new ones. That takes the number $3, takes the number three spot in this video. Number two. What was number two? I went back and forth on what to do for number two. I was going to put the Butcher and the Blade, but I don't know their characters. I didn't want to pick them just because they were something different than I saw. So I gave number two to a wrestler I am very familiar with and a huge fan of, Rob Van Dam, RVD, Mr. Monday Night, the whole effing show, RVD. We went with him because he's one of my favorite wrestlers back from the 90s. Um, I watched him in ECW, watched him in uh, WWE. He went to Impact, done a little bit, watched him there. I always enjoyed his character. I always enjoyed his work in the ring. Now, that is an older figure, that WWE Ultimate of him that we saw. But um, I hadn't seen it in a while, so I guess it made a little comeback around. Somebody might have returned one. Who knows? But it was cool to see it in store one more time. I think that's a pretty good likeness to him. They did pretty good with that, uh, has, in my opinion, as far as that figure. So it does take the number two spot in this video. Rob Van Dam, WWE Ultimate Figure. And that brings us down to it. That brings us down to number one. What took number one? 
The number one coolest thing I saw in this video, in my opinion, is the Godzilla and Kong New Empire metal minifigures at the Greenville Walmart. Now, that may not be the most sexy and exciting pick, but I really enjoy the Godzilla and Kong figures. Really hyped about that movie. Love those movies that I've had so far. It's came out in this new MonsterVerse or whatever they're calling it. But again, those figures are cool. I only seen them at that one Walmart. Um, they had three out of the four. They didn't have Shimu or Shimo, whatever how you say his name. But uh, I can't remember when I bought those things there. If they had, if I got the only one of him, or there was more than one in the box, they had just opened that box when I got them there a couple of hunts ago. But again, it was still cool to see them. Uh, some people have asked me where I found those at in the toy section. They were trying to find them. It actually was out in front of the toy section. You had the toy section here, the main walkway. They had a little kiosk set up in the middle of the aisle way there, right outside the toy aisles that had that Paz Vizsla and some other stuff sitting on it. That's where those were sitting. I uh, don't know if that's how it'll be in every Walmart, but that's where I found them. You know, they're off to the side a little bit from the main toy aisle. But that takes number one for this video, those little metal minifigs. All right, let's talk about a toy haul. What did we buy? We don't have an enormous haul for this video, but we do have some stuff. The first thing I want to show that I picked up, again, back to the movie that I'm hoping is going to be good and I'm very hyped for. We did pick up the, the Kong here with the Beast Glove. I want to try out one of these articulated figures from Godzilla and Kong and see how they are. Now, these are from Playmates, and I've got to say, Playmates price these very affordably. These are only nine, this is a $9 figure. You know, most of the time, stuff like this, the bigger companies probably would have this thing at $14.99, $20, you know, who knows, whatever. But most of this stuff from Playmates from Godzilla and Kong has been very, very well priced. So I want to try this out and see what it's like. I got the Beast Roar Kong last time I went out hunting, uh, but he's not all that articulated where he just makes the, the noise. So I wanted to get one of the regular figures and try that out to see if we're going to pick up any more of these. But we did pick this one up. Uh, you saw me carrying this around the home base Walmart. I got my piranha plant. I saw it there last time I was in the store and passed on it. Uh, someone had actually carried it out. It was sitting on an end cap there, as I said in the video. But we saw it sitting there. I thought it was a sign, so we did pick up the piranha plant. I've got a little display here with Kamek, uh, Diddy Kong, and Donkey Kong sitting right in front of my desk lamp. So we're going to put the plant there trying to chomp Donkey Kong or something. I don't know, but we did pick this up to go with those little figures. Now, my next pickup came from one of the Target stores, and this was the last of this way that I want to pick up or was willing to pick up at full price. I did get War Machine because he looks cool. Um, the Winter Soldier is my favorite MCU movie of all time, so I definitely wanted the Captain America to go with that, uh, the, with the stealth suit here. Um, I think these are reissue figures. I have no idea, but I was if it is a reissue, I wasn't collecting Legends when the first time this figure came out, so... Glad to have a chance to grab it again at retail, because I'm sure if it is on secondary market now for the original release, it's probably more than $25. So we did pick up Cap there, and I may get some more this wave. If you know, I hate to always say when it, if it hits clearance, but if we do find them at a lower price, I may pick up some Iron Man and Spider-Man. But again, for full price, Cap and War Machine were the two I wanted, and now I got both. All right, my last pickup is something. I'm sorry, guys, this one is a little bit overpriced for this, but I got a bunch of gift cards from my employer for Christmas, and I used up one of the, I think I got maybe one more left, but I did pick up these little mystery crystal things here from Godzilla and Kong. It's got a mystery monster on the inside. It could be one of those four. I picked up one of every color, purple, orange, blue, and red, hoping that signifies that I get all four of these. I thought these were like five dollars and fifty cents. That's what they scan on the app. I'm pretty sure they scan at five forty-seven. But when you go up to the register, they're actually seven dollars or six ninety-seven. And I asked the employee, and she made phone calls or whatever, and, and to confirm that that seven dollars is the right price. I don't remember if it was six ninety-seven or six forty-seven, but these better be pretty cool. If I hadn't had that gift card, I, I would put them back. I wouldn't have got them for that. But again, we're going to crack them open, check them out, and see if they are worth you know six dollars or seven dollars, whatever they were. That's it, guys. That's the video. That's our top threes, our stores of the hunt, and our haul. So let's get into social media for the man collects. Where can you find me on social media? You can find me on Instagram. If you look in the description of this video, look at the about page on YouTube. My splash will be here on the screen, flashing like it does in Brett the Hitman Heart Colors. That'll show you where to find the man collects on Instagram. Look me up on there, give me a follow, and check out what I post on Instagram. Trying to do some more on there, putting some reels on there and things like that, and play around a little more as I'll still try to learn how to, how to use Instagram. And then we have it, the YouTube page, The Man Collects. If you are that first-time viewer or you've come back several times and you have yet to subscribe to the channel, consider clicking subscribe and seeing what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. 
With all that being said, everybody, hope you had a great weekend. Hope everybody experiencing these colder temperatures have stayed warm. And I will see you back here for the next video.